Y'all hear what I'm saying? See, every problem, brothers and sisters, every circumstance, we must understand God had a purpose for it. And some of us may say, Lord, why me? Why do I always have to go through that? Look at them over there. They ain't going through nothing. But look at me. Every time I go to church and come home, something's going on. Every time I do pray, Lord, somebody doing this and all of this stuff. We always look at our circumstances. But I'm here to be a witness to you and tell you today, but every circumstance I go through, I praise God in it. Yeah. And why do you praise God in it? Because God put me in it, and I know God can break me all of it. And as long as I stay in it, I can tell somebody else, when you're going through your problem, how to handle it, you got to handle it on your knees and say, Lord, it ain't my mama, it ain't my daddy, but it's me, oh Lord. And the truth of the matter is somebody, some of you don't even pray at all until you have some circumstances in your life. Y'all know what's the amen. 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 Where's the problem come, boy? Can't beat you in the church house. Yes. <laughs> Bible study, you be coming out. Come on. And everything start going smooth in your yes. life. Right. You stay home and say, I just watch TV. Right. Church TV. Right. But church TV can't do you. Right. Like we can do you. Right. Or like God can do you. Right. Well, my brother and sister, we got to get out of here. We see a decoration of deliverance. A decoration of deliverance. In John, amen, the 43th verse, Jesus called Elijah by name. Yes, he did. Jesus saw Elijah, called Elijah by his name. Yes, he and I don't know about you, but I remember when God called my name. Yes, sir. Do you remember? Yes, sir. When God called your name? Yes. I don't know what you was doing. And I can't tell you what I was doing. But he called my name. But he called Elijah by his name. It, 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 amen, amen. It was Elijah's miracle. It was his miracle. It's your miracle. It's your miracle. When Elijah, when, when Elijah was delivered, he, he came out bound in grave clothes. And, and I don't know, I mean, I, I, I'm trying to think of myself think, uh, and, and praying and say, how did Elijah come out of the grave with grave clothes? I don't know, God said, Elijah come forth, he just raised up. I don't know when he came forth and he came to Jesus, he was jumping towards him. I don't know. But what I do know, Come on, sister. What I do know, the grave clothes could hold them. And what I do know today is that whatever you may be facing, it cannot hold you. But what brothers love you? Why can't hold Because you got Jesus on your side. And I don't know about you, but you got King Jesus on your side. Amen. You can come out of your service. You can come out your grave clothes. Amen. God can make you whole. But you got to believe that God can do it. Oh, the story is not there. Sometimes you are delivered, but still have the growing of all following you around. You know how you say I'm delivered, but that old stuff still following you around. Y'all hear what I'm saying? That old stuff still following you around. No hope of release. You can't do nothing, you can't say nothing, you do or seal, you're wrapped up, tied up, tangled up. But Jesus told them that that was around Elijah to loose his grave clothes and let him go. That's some good news, y'all. I said, that's some good news, y'all. He said, loose him and let him go. We must lose. We must lose and, and let go of those leftovers. That bind us because we are, uh, because our destiny has been defined by God. Jesus told him that ain't nothing too hard for him. I'm not here to tell you that I'm glad that God, amen, can set you free. Yeah, 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 yeah. God can do it for life. Yeah, he can do it for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know about you, 
but today is a day to tell the Lord I want to be free. Ain't till you go home and leave your husband or wife or your girlfriend and boyfriend. But there's something down on the inside that you need to be free. You can't praise God like you want to praise him. When you come to church, you need to leave your problems on the outside. So when you walk in God's house, you want to be free from all of that stuff. And just maybe, baby, when you leave here, that stuff won't jump back on you. Because I know God can do all things but fail. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Well, thank you, Lily of the Valley. It's good to be back here on the third Sunday. But I need to tell you that, amen, God is an awesome God. I know that he will bring you through whatever you're going through. Because one Friday morning, it took our Lord and Savior to heal for a way. They put him in an old rugged cross. The book of Isaiah said he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our nicotine. The chastising of our peace upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. He died on the cross for your sins. In my sins, but I'm so glad he did not stay dead. For they tell me early, early, early one Sunday morning, while the dew was still on the roses, he got up from out of the grave, shook off the grave clothes, just like Lazarus, and looked at the eyes and said.